decisions Motherfuck my peers, I'm the man of the year Welcome back everyone, so if you don't know where I'm going right now, I am going to be doing Corporal Beast, this is the boss pet I really want to get, so for the first episode of Killing Corporal Beast, I'm going to only set it at 100 kills, but also I'm going to be doing another boss, since you know I told you guys that I got pretty bored just doing one boss at a time, so I'm going to do 100 corp kills in this episode, I might change it in the next one, it really depends how long it takes me to do those 100 kills but my current kill count here is 228 and if I remember correctly I have not gotten any of the sigils before I got in like the spirit shields and the holy elixir and stuff but nothing really I guess unique from corporal beast even though these are really cheap but I think it'll still be pretty cool to get these so I'll end up at 328 kill count at the end of this episode and then the second boss I'm going to be doing is Krill Tutsaroth, if I said that right, the uh, Zamorak boss at God Wars 1. So my kill count there is 596, and I plan on doing 250 kills at Zamorak in this episode. Someone left a comment as well in the previous pet hunting video that I should stick to God Wars 1 and get all the pets there and then just move on to somewhere else. So I thought that was a pretty good idea since I have two out of the four. So going to go for Zamorak first, and then the last pets at God Wars 1 is going to be Armadil. So I think the 250 kills is going to take 4 to 5 hours. And then the Corporal Beast ones, I'm not really sure. So that's why I'm keeping it at 100. But let's see what I get from those two bosses. So I want to let you guys know that my inventory is probably really bad. I'm going to have to just experiment with my setup from time to time throughout this episode. So right now I'm using sharks. Probably not really ideal here. Might have to switch to rock tails or something and maybe even bring a little bit of brew since I am kind of getting wrecked right now. But it's just kind of like a experiment trip, I suppose, for the first few trips. And then um, if you guys have any recommendations, if my setup still looks pretty bad throughout this episode, you can just let me know and I'll make sure to adjust it later on. Let's see what the drop is as well since I just killed it. So it got 26k. To be honest, I thought I got something really rare because I couldn't tell what the hell the trap was. But it was only a regen bracelet, only 119k. Dane got a holy elixir, it is 763k. I think I got pretty unlucky there, I think that could have been a sigil. I'm not really sure how many kills, I'll just show you guys the current kill count right now. I'm at 262 and I end at 328 I think so I've only maybe gotten like 30-ish kills at the moment. There's a nice drop Onyx Bolts E drop 175 I think that's close to 1.5 mil or 2 mil so that is a fairly decent drop at Corporal Beast. Well then we got back to back Onyx drops total of a 350 Onyx Bolts and from those two drops 2.7 mil that is pretty nice. Already finished up the 100 kills at Corporal Beast didn't really record that many drops because the drops are pretty cheap overall so I'm not going to really record the regen bracelets that I get since they are pretty cheap but the loot from 100 kills right now it is a total of 12.2 mil I really wasn't expecting that much money from Corporal Beast, maybe like 6 mil or something. And the fact that I got 12 mil is pretty nice. And I didn't really spend that much money, I guess. But 2.7 mil from the Onyx is 1.1 mil with the Rune Knight Bullets, which is, which is pretty crazy. 763k from the Holy Elixir, almost 600k with the Bracelets, and then also the White Berries do add up quite a bit. But right now the kill count is at 328. The first unique drop at Zamorak is of course a effigy. I kind of hope that I just don't get a lot of effigies but just because I like collecting up the loot tab and just seeing all the rare drops. So I probably will get a few effigy drops from the 250 kills. I got two loot beams and the, the one I don't really want is the, the second effigy. I think from the first 25 or even 30 kills or something. I already got two effigies. I think I'm on the path of getting five effigies easily from the kills right now. There is our first rare drop, Gown of Subjugation, 2.5 mil 
from that loot. And then also, if you can see in the chat box, my luck of the dwarves shined more brightly for that kill, which is pretty cool. 681k for the ward of subjugation. So the fact that the shield is that high is pretty surprising, since if you compare it to the Bandos War Shield, that's only 150k. So it's, you know, not a bad price for the shield, I guess. Zamorak Hilt, the price check is 538k, so it's fairly cheap. I think the Ceridoman Hill is still the most expensive. I can't really remember how much that one is, but at least I didn't get a duplicate right off the bat, so I'm happy with getting the hilt. Our first duplicate is the Ward of Subjugation, and the price check stays the same, which is at 681k for the shield. I know people on Old School freak out about the Steam Battle Staff, but I think it's pretty bad on RS3, so the price check for it is... Yeah... Yeah, it's pretty shit here. <laughs> nice. Our first gloves of subjugation, 1.2 mil for the gloves. So far, been pretty lucky with not getting a ton of duplicates, which is very surprising to me. It took a bit longer than expected to do the 250 kills at Zamrak, so I think it was like four hours to four and a half hours compared to Bandos. It was like three and a half. So I was averaging 61 to 63 kills an hour at Zamorak, whereas at Bandos it was around 72 to 75 kills an hour. So getting 10 kills less an hour does eventually add up and it took me maybe like 40 to 50 minutes longer to do the uh, 250 Zamorak kills. So I'm going to keep it at 250 just because it does take a little bit of time to kill Zamorak. So I think that's a good amount of kills an episode. And then, you know, with Curve World Beast, I'm going to just keep it at 100 as well, since in total, it's probably close to nine hours of PVMing that I'm making in these episodes. I want to also just show you guys the kill counts real quick. So Curve World Beast is still at 328. I just want to say that I'm going to go a little bit over 100 in the next episode. I'm going to end up at 450 in the next one, just because it'll be a lot easier for me to track my kills. So that's why I'm going to do that. For Crow Beast for Zamrock, I did that in this episode. I just had to kill four more Zamrock, so I'm up to 850, and I would have ended at like 846. So just might as well just do those four quick kills. So it's going to be up to like 1,000 in the next episode. So let's go ahead and do the price check at Zamrock from 250 kills, 12.6 mil. And by the way, I did get two shards. I'm not including shard drops anymore. And then also, I'm not including effigy drops anymore. So I think I might include two clips of me getting an effigy drop. And then the other two, I'm not going to include. So I'll just like show you guys quickly, you know, in the press checks and stuff, how many shards I get. And then also the effigies. But 4.4 mil in the wine of Zamrak. Those add up very nicely. Almost 11k each. These are very expensive. They always stayed up at around that price. 2.5 mil for the gown. That's a nice price as well. Let's check out the uh, wards, 681k for both, so it's like almost 1.4 mil for those. The hilt is at 559k, you know, pretty cheap. All the hilts are cheap except for, I think, Ceridoman, which might be still around 10 mil. I have no idea, to be honest with you. And then the gloves are at 1.2 mil. Surprisingly, I didn't know how much the Steam Battle Staff was when I recorded it. You won't see those as well. It's only 35k, which is pretty bad, but... 12.6 mil from 250 kills at Zamrock, and then also 100 kills at Corporal Beast was 12.2 mils. I forgot to include the coins from Zamrock, so it's 2.1 mil from the coin drops in total. The price check was 12.6 mil, that equals out to be 14.7 mil. With the Corporal Beast drop, it's 12.2 mil. If you add those up together, it's nearly 27 mils. I thought I'd just say that real quick. I really forgot about the coins, so. I'll make sure to do that in the next episode, but I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you for watching the pet hunting video today. Drop a like on the video. You can also subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. You can follow my Twitter. The link is always down below in the description, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.